from cursed minifigures to weird bricks, let's take a look at the most clever LEGO building techniques. Check the description for all previous episodes and drop a like if you want to see this series continue. Alright, let's get started. I love this swaying palm tree design by Bevan's Bricks. He uses a large stack of 2x2 round donut tiles with a LEGO Technic flex tube inside. This way, the tree can bend, but never breaks. These tubes are really slept on, considering the flexibility that they can add to your creation. Also, I think some of the best techniques often come from the most random LEGO creations. I recently came across this steampunk drummer droid by Tobias H. You can see that he creatively used minifigure minor helmets for shoulders and minifigure binoculars for the drum pattern. There's a lot of details here, just like on the champions in Raid Shadow Legends, today's sponsor. When you embark on a journey of epic proportions with Raid, you'll encounter an astonishing array of 15 unique factions boasting a whopping 700 champions, all with their own special abilities. This means that as you dive into PvP combat and dungeon battles, you'll certainly get to flex your strategic muscles in your quest for dominance. Raid has over 400 million players worldwide and is constantly rolling out new updates. But my favorite feature is definitely the intense boss fights like the Hydra clan boss. I mean, just look at this monster. He's crazy. Speaking of bosses, Raid has just added a fearsome new boss named Akumari the Phantom Shogun. This undead general is guarding everything you need for accessory ascension, a new feature to upgrade your gear to even greater heights. There's never been a better time to play Raid for free on mobile or desktop because as a new player, if you use my link or scan this QR code, you will get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. Once you're in, you can find me in-game under the name Spipryx. It's really that easy, just click the link in the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. Thanks to Raid for sponsoring this video, and now on to the next genius LEGO technique. This creation has a lot hidden within. This was created by Martin Gebert, an entry for the Bricks Caliber contest, and apart from the beautiful photography and humor within this scene, Martin incorporates some incredibly rare LEGO building techniques as well. Can you spot them? Well, just check out that elegant bed that is certainly only suitable for someone of very high prestige. The LEGO tiles used for the drapery on the bed, the wooden bed pillars, and even a sneaky addition of an illegal building technique for the legs of the bed. It's all great. A flawless execution by Martin. Also, you can see that he used a ring of modified 1x2 plates around the bed platform, as well as the stone floor design is created with some shield tiles which originated from the LEGO Nexonite slime in 2016. This is perhaps the most buff LEGO minifigure you'll ever see. When this LEGO minifigure hits the gym, you already know that he's only working arms and then immediately chugging 5 protein shakes. This guy has got to be the arm wrestling world champion in the land of LEGO. But how is this cursed LEGO minifigure even made? Well, you see, LEGO flashlights have cross-compatible arms with regular minifigures. Despite them being completely different sizes, for some reason it works. So you can make an absolute unit of a minifigure if you happen to have one of these keychain light-up minifigures. Speaking of which, though, there's also the complete opposite scenario. Take a look at this guy. Turns out you can also put a regular minifigure arm on a LEGO minifigure flashlight. This might just be even more funny than the big armed fig. I mean, this poor minifigure can't even reach the top of his head. But at least he's still smiling. He's definitely got a positive attitude, that's for sure. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of another pair of minifigures posted by Luke Dub on Reddit. The guy on the left can probably do 100 consecutive push-ups like a real champ, but that's nothing compared to the most buff Jedi out there, Yoda. The Sith stand absolutely no chance against Yoda and his new arms, but I wonder at what point do they just become too big? I mean, since Yoda here has short legs, he's basically dragging his arms on the floor. Now, LEGO has released a couple versions of Hedwig from Harry Potter, and while these are both fantastic, sleek models with a lot of details, they are nowhere near this incredible creation by Simon Hunsbickler. Simon certainly took the more menacing and fierce route when designing this owl, which is a style that LEGO has yet to really try. Despite Hedwig being Harry's owl, you probably know that owls are powerful and dominant predators, and with that in mind, I appreciate how Simon approached this build. Also, I think the tuft of feathers by Hedwig's beak is pure genius. The LEGO wing piece here just works perfectly. What do you think? This other creation by Simon is called the Farmhouse in the Forest, but there's certainly more here than first meets the eye. 
Take a look at the phenomenal attention to detail and texture throughout this build. There's a very clever use of some LEGO pieces that aren't typically used in a creation like this, such as minifigure hands. Although perhaps a bit creepy, they do the job. The only downside is that Simon's minifigure collection is probably in some real pain considering that the vast majority of them probably no longer have hands. Yikes. Speaking of weird rooftops though, did someone say carrots? Well, check out this rooftop created with a lot of Lego orange carrot pieces. Surprisingly, they fit well together when you alternate their direction. I never thought a Lego carrot house would look good, but I've been proven wrong because this does look really good, and I've never seen anyone do this before, so this creation also receives bonus points for its creative originality. Also, while we're on the topic of weird Lego pieces that fit together, check out how these Lego vine pieces form a perfect circle when you place them side by side. Certainly not super useful, I'll admit, but it's quite neat to see nonetheless. Lumberlander shared this fantastic creation of Blackbeard on Flickr, and immediately you may notice the LEGO minifigure handcuffs at the end of Blackbeard's wild hair, or perhaps you notice the creative brick design for the skull and crossbones on the pirate hat. But what you may have missed is the massive black octopus used to create the front of Blackbeard's beard. How suitable for a sea creature to be featured front and center in this build. I love it. Lumberlander also created a surprisingly detailed baldric, which is the strap across the chest of a pirate, using small plastic tread links, which I think is quite cool. But perhaps the most surprising and interesting addition here is the small globe on the bottom right hand corner of the image. Why? Well, believe it or not, this is actually a quite rare Lego piece now because this globe only comes in three sets, which is the ship in a bottle, Ninjago City docks, and the Bat Cave from 2016, of which all of them are pretty hard to come by nowadays. Also, if you happen to come across an amazing Lego creation or use a genius Lego building technique, go ahead and send me pictures or a link to my viewer submission email, videos at spitbricks.com, for a chance to be featured in an upcoming video. This Lego brick might look like a sandwich, but it's far from that because this is actually an illegal Lego building technique. Let me explain. So basically to create this double-sided brick where you have studs both on the top and the bottom, you can use four cheese slope pieces and basically jam them in between two Lego plates. Now obviously this is a technique that official Lego designers would never be able to use in official sets because it does create extra stress on the Lego pieces, which Lego does not like. But who said you can't break the rules in your own creations? Just be sure to tread carefully. In similar nature, check out this second illegal LEGO building technique, which utilizes four modified 1x1 one one bricks, wedged between two plates. The end result here is a brick with two anti-stud sides. However, what's so cool about this makeshift brick is the ability to build on the side studs of the bricks in the middle. The way the bricks and plates attach is certainly not a technique that LEGO allows in official sets since it may warp the bricks over time because there's extra stress, but it is still possible to build nonetheless. Click here to see more genius LEGO building techniques, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so we can all celebrate together when we hit 1 million.